Welcome back from the break, everyone. We are here to discuss the Katherine Patterson's Newbery Award novel, which is a Bridge to Terabitha play that's going on with Fountain Square players, correct? Yes, it is a play, and it's set to a lyrical score, which means it's kind of like a musical, but not really. It doesn't have as much music as a traditional musical, but it centers on a young boy named Jesse, and he's sort of alienated at home and at school, and along comes this other little girl named Leslie, and she's sort of the new girl, the outcast, mm -hmm. and they team up together and create this world named Terabithia. And when tragedy strikes with Jesse, he uses what he's learned in Terabithia to propel himself through life and share the magic with others. And um, how is the cast deciding to interpret it this time? Are you making it unique or anything to Bowling Green or? Well, with the situation of Brandon Bradshaw, it really hit home, it hits home for a lot of us because we've lost our director and our friend and in the show, uh, Jesse loses a friend and right. it's just sort of, we're using it to interpret how in life you can't let things like that stop you mm -hmm. and you have to just keep going and use what you've learned to push yourself through life. And I understand one of the quotes that uh, yes. the whole cast has on the back of their shirt. So it says, you love somebody, you don't just turn it off like cutting off a spigot. They're always still inside you, all the things they give you, you don't want to get over that. So how is the cast really trying to show that during the play? Well, you know, with all of these children, we it's nice to have something to make sense of the situation. And in the show, it's a, it's a huge part. So we're just kind of playing that like, words to live by honestly and it's on the back of our t-shirts and our uh, the president of Fountain Square players Jeff Moore he's stepped up to fill Brandon's position but we still have Brandon's name on the show because he he is our director and this is his and we just want to honor him in any way that we can. Well that's fantastic so um, why else should people come out and support? Oh uh, well it is a wonderful show these kids have worked incredibly hard and they are doing this for the community they're doing it for their family and friends and for the Bradshaw family. And it's beautiful. The music is beautiful. And the kids, they're just precious, honestly. There's, we have about 10 kids, and they're wonderful. They're wonderful actors, especially our leads, Cole Vaughn and Abby Murphy and Olivia Otto. They're just amazing. And it, it really shows in the show. Has practices had to change anything due to school or since there are so many children uh -huh. involved? Well, we usually have practices from 6.30 to 8.30, so it doesn't really conflict with school or anything. That's perfect. And it doesn't conflict with most of the adults because they have work in the day. Right. So we try to make it so that everyone can attend rehearsal, and that's, that's our goal because we really, <laughs> we got to keep going, and we just got to get it done, and we just got to make sure everyone can be there, and that's an important thing, especially with theater. And so when are the dates of the play? The dates are March 28th through the 30th. That's at the end of this month and the, they're at 8 p.m., okay. and on Saturday, the 30th, there's one at 3 p.m. and 8 p.m. Okay, perfect. And where, how much are tickets going to cost? Okay. Tickets are $12 for adults, $10 for students and seniors, and $8 for children. And you can go online and buy those at fountainsquareplayers.org. Just click on the ticket tab and just put how many you need and you're all set. <laughs> Okay, perfect. And can you still buy tickets at the door if you're... Yes, you can still buy tickets, but I strongly advise buying right. them online because this show will definitely sell out. And being at the Phoenix Theater, it's a small venue and yes. not many tickets. So I strongly advise going online and buying those as soon as you can. And is there anything else you would like to add? Well, just good job to the whole cast. I'm very proud of them and I'm very honored to be working with Jeff Moore and I'm honored to be doing this for my friend and director, Brandon Bradshaw. Well, I greatly appreciate you coming oh, in today, Thank you Elizabeth. for having me. No problem. And we are going to get a look at our current weather.